Created over 35 years ago, the Karapoti Classic is New Zealand's original and toughest mountain bike race. Let's find out about the history behind this Kiwi Classic. I put an ad in the national magazine, full page ad, saying uh, I was organising the national mountain bike champs, uh, although back then it was called the New Zealand Off-Road Championships. And I had no authority to call it the New Zealand Champs, but nobody else was in charge of mountain biking because it wasn't a thing. Uh, we had 45 people from around the country come, and then it grew every year by about 20%, just because it was such a quintessential expression of, of a mountain bike adventure. After about five years, we paid for TV to come and show it, and all of a sudden, it grew to a thousand people. Through native bush and rugged terrain, starting at the Akatharawa River, the first. And the reason it's so popular is because it is quite a challenge to do. It's also really enjoyable. Um, so it's hard and rewarding as well. Two hours and 33 minutes after crossing the Akadakawa River. So everyone who finishes it has a great sense of um, personal achievement and relief that it's over and they have stories about the hill climbs and the, and the downhills and the mud and the rocks and the punctures and all the dramas. They all have stories. The first two winners of the Karapoti in 1986 rode the course with backpacks and bike carriers. The equipment may have changed, but the spirit of those days remained. For the first five years, we organised the event and made no money. Whatever money came in was spent on paying for services and bits and pieces. Um, so it was totally a labour of love. Um, it was a non-profit experience. After we'd been doing it about 15 years, it became less interesting for us, which is why after 17 years we sold it to Michael, who revived it, and we're really happy that that, that, that happened. In the world. It's got the two sides. It's, it's the race that everybody wants to win in terms of the elite riders, but for the average person, it's, it's the race that every mountain biker wants to sort of mark off at least once. Yeah, I'm Michael Jakes. Been organising the Karapoti Classic since 2002. So I've been organising it for 18 odd years. Um, been organising events all my life really, just always been a, a keen runner and mountain biker and cyclist and triathlete and things like that. And yeah, eventually you get into organising these things, or some people do. Let's kick things off tonight with New Zealand's biggest mountain bike race, which is celebrating its 21st birthday. Yeah, you've got to change with the times. Um, when the internet era came in in the sort of late 90s, etc., you know, Karapoti was one of the first events to have a website. We were literally the first event in the country to have online entry. You know, one of the first events to take up electronic timing, where, where you, you know, the event's timed via electronic chips. Yeah, and we just have to keep moving with those times and keep up because you know, that's the only way you'll keep the new generation of people, of riders, coming into the sport. Yeah, I've been cramping a bit. Yeah, well, what can I say? Mountain biking, it's an inherently challenging sport full stop. I mean, the, the challenges for the participants are huge. You know, is a really tough event, but you know, for organisers as well, it's pretty hard to keep an event like this going for you know, what, 35 years now, three and a half decades. Other years we've had, uh, oh, 2012 in fact, we had a flood that nearly cancelled the race and we postponed it and came back two weeks later and, and ran it again. Um, you know, the race has got oh, four or five quite big river crossings that people have to wade across with their shoulders held on their bikes and stuff and so it was just too dangerous that year to run the event, just an unseasonal flood. When we took it over in 2002, the event was costing about $25,000 a year to organise. Um, last year for the 35th anniversary event, it cost about $75,000. So, 
you know, in less than 20 years, you know, the costs have gone up 200%. Um, but unfortunately in that time, you know, the, what people are willing to pay to, to do an event and what sponsors are willing to pay to get exposure out of the event hasn't really changed that much. And so, you know, we have to find new income streams and keep people coming into the event. And, you know, those are the sorts of challenges every year. You know, Karapodis, it's almost like a bit of Kiwiana, you know, it's, a, it's New Zealand's longest running mountain bike event, that says something, you know, it's, it has a place in history in that sport and they can go out and challenge themselves to, to take on something that they didn't think perhaps that they could have done before. That's the place that things like Karapodi have in society is that, you know, they give people a platform to take on new experiences and that's, that's why the Karapodi Classic will always be there.